Hey everybody, welcome to another video tutorial from Creaty. Today we're working with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'm going to show you how to add Lottie animations with JSON files directly to HTML. Um, the problem with using JSON files is they won't render on HTML, so we'll have to use a plugin from BodyMovein and some JavaScript to call the functions. Uh, the process is pretty easy and you can actually do some really cool customizations getting accessing the um, code in the JSON file to manipulate the Lottie animation. Um, but today we'll just show you how to render on HTML. So the first step is to find a Lottie animation. We're going to search through the Creative Library and use one of their new collections. So we will show, show us collections and work with this project and task management collection. Brand new. Um, cool feature you can hover over it to check out the different designs in the collections. And once we're in here, we'll pick one. Uh, they all look great, all cohesive, work great on the same web page. Um, there's 10 in this collection. We're going to go with time management. Okay, on the product page, we can customize the colors. I have them saved from the website. And we're just going to oops, copy and paste directly into Creative's editor. Makes designing super easy. Okay, and this looks okay. I think I'm gonna make it a little lighter. That looks better. Okay, now we have two options. We can embed or download. Embedding is very easy and it will render. But with downloading, you can get faster page load speeds, and you can use the Body Movement plugin to um, customize the animations uh, within the code. So we're going to show you how to download or work with the JSON file. We'll download and add to our code editor. Okay, we'll just drag it in. And next step, we'll have to add the body moving plugin so we can call some of the functions we'll use. Easiest way is to copy and paste the, um, the CDN. Um, you can also upload a NPM package, um, but it takes a little more work. This is very easy. Let's go into VS Code. And we'll just have to add it to our header with the script tag. Okay, looks good. And I'll show you the page we're editing, working with. This is a bootstrap um, template. It's really basic. Uh, we're gonna add our Lottie design right here. It's gonna look nice, it's a lot of white, light colors, and we use the colors from the page. Okay, let's go back into VS Code. Okay, so first step is we're gonna create a container. We're adding the Lottie animation to this row. Okay. Use a div tag and build some columns. Oops. We'll go with so we're using a desktop, we'll use large, and now we gotta make a name for the container. We'll call it animation container. 
Okay. Now need a script tag. Okay. Oh, I didn't close this. There we go. And let's make a variable, call it animation. And we're going to be calling this function, so we need to access the body moving library. And we're using the load animation function. Load animation. Okay. And we'll have to make some parameters. So let's call this container. Get element by ID. And now inside the get element by ID is the name of the container. Okay. Now call the path. This is the JSON file. Time management three and the file extension. Okay. And we'll identify how it will render SVG. And we'll set the loop to true. And turn autoplay on as well. Okay. And we can name it. I don't think this is necessary. Uh, but I know all the other um, parameters are. Won't work without container path render loop autoplay. Not sure about name. Okay. Better container name, the file name looks right. Everything looks good. Um, so if we open this in browser like you normally would, this won't work. Should be here. Doesn't work because Chrome blocks um, Chrome blocks JSON files. Oh, I didn't save. Um, Chrome blocks JSON files locally. Um, so we'll have to set up a live server. See, here's the air, um, cores air. Um, yeah, not a big deal. We have a workaround. We'll just make a live server. So we'll go into VS Code. And you'll need to add this extension, live server. Um, all you need to do is you'll see this on your bottom toolbar. And we just have to go live. And this will send it to a server and not our local. So now there's the animation. Looks great. Uh, same colors as the website. Running on loop, autoplay once you hit it in the viewport. Um, everything looks great. Say you want to change the size, all you'd need to do is go into the container. Say we want to make four columns. I'll have to change in Bootstrap anyway to the uh, class on the container. There it is. Looks good. All right, thanks for watching and check back in with us for more tutorials.